is an excessive amount of journals to be using all at once, but alas, here I am. Hey there, it's Virginia. Welcome or welcome back to my second channel. So today's video is another journaling video. In this video, I am doing all of my current journals that I am currently using. And this number has gone up a lot very quickly. I used to only basically have like my YouTube notebook and then I would occasionally write in a prayer journal and like a regular journal. But since it's become more of a habit for me, I've just started using up all of the little books that I have and finding excuses to start new books, like literally making one. <laughs> So I hope you enjoy this video and let's go ahead and get started. So here are all of the journals that I am currently using and if you think it's excessive, it definitely is. I just got very into journaling very quickly so I started starting a bunch of different journals but I'm actually going to start this video with the one that I've had for the longest time. Oh, for the longest time. Okay, so the one that I've had the longest is my YouTube notebook and I made this. It was just a random notebook sitting downstairs of our house and no one was using it. So I upcycled it and I used some pretty scrapbooking paper that I had and I gave it new covers and I actually have my DIY of me making this on my YouTube channel. So I will put that video in the iCard where I make it. I made it for a New Year's video in like 2017 I think and I'm still using it um, I have a lot of video ideas look 2017 this has a bunch of stuff from my old collab channel that I was on like I think it was like my sophomore freshman and sophomore year of high school these are old video ideas I use this notebook for video ideas and I also use it to plan videos so this one was when I was making uh, DIY dorm decor from stuff I found at the thrift store so I use this to you know just kind of organize my thoughts and this is my current setup right now and I actually just have like a bunch of random papers that I have stuff written on and I like to highlight it to make it look like I've gotten stuff done and I like to use these sticky notes that I got at Dollar Tree and I just use these in my planner to show when I'm filming, editing, and uploading a video. And I like using sticky notes because it allows me to move them around. So right now I have this, I'm filming this on August 1st, but if I wasn't able to film this today, then I could just use the sticky note and move it to another day. And it doesn't get all sloppy. And it's also just like visually appealing to me to see how much stuff I've gotten done. So that is what I use my YouTube notebook for. And other than my YouTube notebook, all of these are pretty fairly recently started. So this is my prayer journal, and I just printed out a bunch of pretty pictures of churches on here. Um, it was just an old composition book. Actually, I used this for driver's ed in high school, and it was one of those like regular generic looking composition books, and I was so bored that I sharpied in the entire front and back cover. I just write in here as like prayers. A lot of the time when I'm making decisions, I like to make pros and cons lists in here and like offer it up to God and ask for him to guide me. I'm not gonna like show any of the stuff in here because it's very private, but I would like to show my little bookmark. It's just this really pretty little like crocheted cloth cross with a tassel on it. And I like this as my bookmark. I'm actually almost done with this, so I'm probably gonna start a new one soon, but yes. So that is my prayer journal. The next journal I have is just my like regular journal, diary journal kind of thing. And this is a composition book that I actually got at Goodwill, brand new, and it is just so pretty. I love the cover of it. I love the little gold details. And on the inside I have this little, this is actually an envelope that I got something in the mail from and I just stuck it in here. To put certain things in here that I want to journal, um, like I have this little piece of art that I did that I want to tape in there at some point. I really like these pages, they're like an off-white and the lines are darker than in like other composition books that I've had. For comparison, this is the regular composition book and this is this notebook. It's also college ruled. I just like that, you know, I got this for brand new and there's a lot more space to write because there's more pages and because the lines are college ruled and I'm just very excited to be using this right now. I really like it. This next journal I got on Amazon because I was just having so many weird dreams this summer. With everything that was happening, earlier in the year after so long at home staying inside from like coronavirus i was just having a lot of weird dreams so i bought this on amazon and it has a little these dreams belong to that i have not written in yet and i just have 
a bunch of dreams in here. Um, this is what the pages look like. They have little moons and they have the date. And oh, actually a few of them like fell out. Like they just weren't glued in. So I used some washi tape to tape them in. But I honestly am like, I'm like a third of the way through this and I've only had it for like a couple months, a little less than a couple months. So I'm hoping that this will last me to like the end of the year or something. I don't know. I was not expecting to fill this up so quickly. The next journal I have, I actually showed in my blank journal collection but I have since started using it so I figured I would show it again and it is my handmade like art journal and this one is made out of completely like recycled and secondhand materials and I really love it this pocket is just made out of loose leaf paper that I randomly watercolored on one day and I currently have a little this is actually a little Bath and Body Works ad that my mom gave to me because she knew that I would like to use like this pretty image for something so I have that in here right now and all of these papers I got at the thrift store. These are like part of a old sketch notebook that there wasn't much left of. And then there's just some random computer paper. So I figured why not put it in there. There's also some scrapbook paper pieces, some more sketchbook paper and scrapbook paper pieces. And I have only done a single little spread in here. It's just a bunch of scraps from scrapbook paper, from magazines, from random pieces of paper and washi tape and stuff that I just glued in here. And I wrote scrap it and embrace imperfections because imperfections equals individuality. And I'm actually not done with this. I wanna write something else on here but I did this at like 1 a.m. and I needed to go to bed so I stopped doing it but that is all I'm doing in here right now I would like to do some more like art journaling in here but mainly I kind of just want to do like some drawing and sketching because I'm thinking about starting a bullet journal for the next calendar year and I would like to embellish my bullet journal with fun themes so I would like to improve my drawing with that. The second to last book that I have is this little notes book. It's about the size of my hand and I just have a little pencil that I keep in the spine so that I can keep it with a notebook because I actually use this notebook for notes when I go to church and the first half of this notebook, oh that's where that went. This is a little prayer card. Um, the first half of the notebook is actually just like random to-do lists that I wrote down. But then beyond that, I've only been doing it for a couple of weeks, but I've just been taking notes at church with the homilies. I go to a Catholic church and the homilies are basically the sermon, if you don't know what that is. It's after all of the readings of the gospel and the first and second reading, the deacon or the priest will deliver a homily on... Um, those two readings or anything going on in the world so I just have some notes from those in here I also have this little these quotes from saints that were in our parish bulletin and I just really like these so this is my little mass notebook hopefully it'll keep me paying attention more in mass from now on and I forgot to mention but this little notebook is pink and it has rose gold on it, it just says notes and my friend Sylvan got it for me for my birthday at Target and something I really like about it is that it has the month and the day and so you can just circle what day your notes were on and I really like that. And the last book I have is my Q&A a day and I actually just started this literally yesterday because yesterday was my birthday and I asked for this for my birthday and my brother got it for me. And I'm so excited to have this. I think he got it at Target. I've just been thinking about doing one of these recently because I, I like the concept of, you know, looking back in time and seeing how your answers change. So the sides of the pages are gold and it has this cool kind of like parabola shape of the pages. It's a pretty thick little book and I think it's very pretty. Yesterday was July 31st and the question was, today were you a wallflower or a social butterfly? And I was actually quite a wallflower yesterday. I basically just went to church and then I stayed in my room napping because I got up early and I was very tired. And then once I woke up, I was thrift flipping some clothes and I just stayed back in my room. And if you wanna watch that video, I'll also have that thrift flip video in the iCard. So these are all the journals that I am currently using. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more journaling videos, but mainly just for random videos, um, maybe some vlogs, maybe some bloopers videos from my main channel. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!